Hello everyone, this is Alex USA Days. So here we are, we are starting automation introduction. Now, even though this course is about manual QA, you will have some hands-on practice writing automation with one of the most modern tools for web automation called Playwright. So we're gonna do installation, we're gonna sim do simple automations. And uh, if you like it, that means you, know, you actually can start moving on and progressing automation, not only doing Manual. So if you actually try and do it and it will work out for you, that means you can build upon it. Now I'm planning to record its own playlist on Playwright that will be more comprehensive, but here we will get short introductory. Now we are already in module 10, so we are done with API testing uh, using Postman in the previous video. And in this video, we're going to do some things in order to get us going. So first we're going to install Node.js. Uh, and this is something that we need in order to run uh, installation process on our machine. This is for Mac users and Windows users, same thing. Uh, there is a link in the slides. Also link is available for download installation under the video description. Now uh, we're also gonna install Visual Studio Code and this is actually um, pretty much like your source code editor where you will be working and creating the tests. Uh, also link is available here and it is also both for Windows and for Macs and it also uh, is free. And after that, we're gonna install Playwright. Uh, so Playwright is a modern automation tool that enables reliable end-to-end -end testing for modern web apps. It is cross-browser, it's cross-platform, it's cross-language, um, and it also can do auto wait so asynchronous testing is a lot more easier. Uh, now, there are two links. One will be installation and documentation, which is playwright.dev. And the second link is their GitHub repository. If you know what it is, if you don't, it's fine. But this tool is actually uh, is open source and done by Microsoft. So it's pretty cool. It, it is one of the fastest growing automation tools. And uh, I think a couple of years down the road, it's going to be more popular than Selenium. And it's going to be pretty much everywhere. All right, so let's get going. Let's get started uh, digging into automation. Now, all of the links that I'm showing here are going to be available in the description, so go and check them out. Uh, so to learn more about Playwright, you can go to playwright.dev. And using Playwright, you can do cross-browser automation. Uh, you can automate API. It's cross-platform. Um, you can do a lot of things. It has auto wait. So for those of you that are just starting automation, you might not appreciate it. But if you've been doing automation for a while and you had to deal with asynchronous applications, like having auto wait is really a game changer. Uh, it is very lightweight. It is very fast. Uh, so it has a tool to record your code, your steps. You can generate code. Uh, you, it has a built-in inspector for the elements. It's very easy and it works in browser context. So it doesn't launch your browser, get connected to the driver. It work, works in the context. So it's very lightweight, really fast. Like I can be running uh, tens of parallel tests uh, across different browsers without any you know, lack of performance. Now, Playwright supports multiple languages. You can see there's uh, Node.js, Python, Java, .NET. So we're just gonna do Node.js and Playwright is supported by Microsoft. So here is their GitHub. I'm gonna leave that link in the description as well. So before we get into the tool and we start doing anything, uh, we need to install two things. We need to install Node.js and uh, we need to install Visual Studio Code. Now you can do it on Mac, you can do it on Windows. Let's start with Node.js. Okay, here's the download. It's in progress. Download is almost complete. And then installation window comes up. So next, accept, next. Default installation uh, folder is fine. Next. Um, all of those things are auto-selected, so you don't have to add to, to pass anything. It's just gonna uh, install everything. Okay, do it. If there are tools installation necessary, so sure, I'm agreeing to install the tools and the installation process started. All right, so we installed Node. To check if uh, your node is installed. I actually got a pop-up here was the installation. Okay, so some additional tools are being installed in the PowerShell.
All right. Upgrading my Python version. That is fine. All right, so all other necessary packages were installed. Now, how do we check if the node was actually installed? So go into your search and type terminal. Uh, it will bring command prompt in Windows and terminal in Mac. Uh, once you have your terminal available, uh, the window you want to type node-v and you will see the version of the node coming up. So that means your node was successfully installed. Perfect. So after node installation, you want to install uh, Visual Studio Code. So this is going to be our development environment where we create our tests and um, write our scenarios for verification automation. So let's do auto, uh, download. Okay, here we go. It's downloaded. Accept the terms. Next. Again, default pass is fine. Next. Uh, let's create desktop icon. Add to the pass. Good. All right. Perfect. Install. Installation started. All right. Great. So installation is done and we can then launch Visual Studio Code. So this is how Visual, Visual Studio Code looks. Uh, it has some notes. Okay, let's exit out. Let's exit. Uh, in the welcome screen, you can actually uh, start a new file or we can um, open a new folder and then start a file. So let's do this. Uh, create on a desktop a folder. You will say days underscore play right. Okay, here we go. So now uh, in Visual Studio Code, uh, we can open folder, go to desktop, and then here's our USA Days Playwright. So this is where we're going to work. This is going to be work directory, uh, trust the authors. Okay, perfect. This is going to be directory where we're going to install the Playwright as a tool. So one of the learning curve that is kind of hard with auto automation tools like Selenium um, or I mean most of the older automation tools is actually getting the tool going so you need to install the tool you need to configure the environment after environment configuration you need to install drivers like this is really kind of hectic process that you know can get newly uh, testers that going into automation discouraged because I mean it's it can take a little bit while to figure things out. Nothing like that is happening in Playwright. So Playwright has uh, pretty comprehensive documentation in all the languages that it supports. So right now we're in Node.js and we can just hit get started. And uh, here we are, it's very easy. So we have NPM, uh, NPM comes with Node. So uh, let's open a console in our uh, ID in this uh, Visual Studio Code. So there's at the bottom, there's like little exclamation mark. You can click on that and it's going to bring up a whole set of tabs at the bottom. So you want to click on the terminal. Okay, here we are. This is our path. So in order to get started, uh, very easy command, right? Install and play, right? So just pretty much one line. That's it, all you need to do. So you want to say in the command line that opened up. npm uh, init play playwright and then add the latest at latest okay so it's going to install the latest version of the playwright uh, asking to download packages proceed okay yes let's do yes here we go uh, do we want to use typescript or javascript let's use javascript uh, where we want to put our tests in tests folder sure uh, are we adding GitHub? No, we're not adding GitHub right now. We're just going to add practice like with the basic installation of GitHub, just some basic tests. Uh, should you install browsers with Playwright? Yes, you should because it's going to save you a lot of time. Uh, so true. Let's press enter. Uh, initialize the project. Okay, so our project is being initialized. Install modules. 
Here we go. Downloading. All right, so that's it. So everything is uh, being installed right now and there's even a test that you can immediately run. Okay, so uh, let's run the test and see what happens. So to run the test, you can do npx playwright, npx uh, play, playwright test dash dash headed. Not uh not npm. Npx. Npx playwright test dash dash had it. Okay, so it's running six tests using six workers. So it is actually because of the configure right now, I believe it's doing multiple different browsers. Yeah. Uh it, it ran actually in a bunch of different browsers really fast. So we don't want to do that. I it auto generates report, so the report was generated. We also can take a look uh, at the report, but let's change some things in the config. So it has a bunch of, so you see it has a uh, project major browsers. So WebKit, uh, which is doing Safari, Firefox, all of that stuff. So in config and playwright, we have projects and within projects, we have multiple browsers, Chromium, Firefox, WebKit. So we don't want Firefox, we don't want WebKit. So highlight those, press control back, uh, backslash or command backslash. So the symbol, right, was your control to comment it out and then uh, save it, right? Press control S or just save. Now let's do it one more time. Let's have the test running one more time, but not multiple of tests. Uh, now it's just going to execute only in one browser in Chrome, because uh, that's only one thing that we have in the config. And so it doesn't close uh, right after the test. We can say here, await uh, page dot pause. Right, so this will actually stop right here in the UI. The test execution will stop here for this particular test case. And then we will add another pause right here in the second. So there are two test cases. Uh, what it's gonna do, let's see. So first data test case will verify that the page has title, right? So it will go to this link, to actual link of the playwright documentation. And then it will expect a title to contain substring uh, playwright. Okay, and then it will pause. So we'll have a pop-up window and we can continue execution from that pop-up. The second test will also get to this page. And what it will do, uh, it will verify that there is a link get started and it will be clicked on right here in this line. Uh, and then it will verify that there is installation in the heading and it should be visible and then it will pause again. So one more time, we're doing npx playwright, uh, npx playwright, and then test and put dash dash headed. So we want to actually see the browser coming up. Uh, one thing also in the config, let's do this playwright config file. Over here, uh, it will do in, it, it is doing parallel execution. So let's do a parallel test one undefined. Okay, so let's do just one one HTML reporter first retry. Okay, I think it looks good. This is fine. Two retries. Uh, so we're executing npx playwright test in the console, right? Let's hit enter. Running two tests using two workers. Okay, so here is test one and it's paused. And then here is test two and it's paused. So I have two windows popping up. They are paused right now. And as soon as I hit next, it will verify the last step and it will close the application. Okay, fully parallel is true. So I don't want to right now for an example video, I don't want to run test in parallel. So here we're gonna do false. 
uh, we still have one worker, so I think it should launch one test one by one. So let's try and run one more time. And here we have the first test uh, showing up. So it has the test here, and here's our pause, right? Uh, it pauses right here. The line is highlighted on line 10 and the step right before. So expect page to have title playwright. So if we're here on that page, we can right click it and do inspect. And now we're in elements. So if I'll press here, control F, I'll open a search. Let's type title, title. Uh, and let's see specifically title uh, tag, right? So when I'll hit continue, uh, if I hit resume right here, it will actually continue the execution and it will go to the next test case. But if I want to, I can actually do record. I can hit record and I can start um, you know, clicking on other links. Let me click on something here. Let's go to uh, getting started, test configuration. And now you can see all my actions are actually recorded right here. So I can also, using this pause method, I can actually uh, do some additional steps and kind of add more to my test immediately, like really fast immediately. Uh, I can grab those, let's say, and go back to Visual Studio Code, tests, example, and add it right here right after pause. So if I'll do control C right now, it will stop uh, the test, terminate batch job, yes. And let's start start one more time. So NPX playwright test, had it. And let's take a look. Okay, so here's the page, let's load it up. Uh, we did not we did not see any of the action happening because the pause was after the whole action was too fast. So let's do it one more time. Control C to stop the test. Terminate yes. Saved it. Uh, okay, file save and let's run one more time. NPX playwright test dash dash had it. Okay, so first. It will. It already asserted that it has uh, title playwright. Here's this window execution, the pause window. Uh, now we can do next step, step over. Okay, so get by text, cross browser, click. So it just clicked on cross browser. And right, you see it's highlighted. Then I can do another next step, step over. Uh, it's going down and clicking on getting started. Next step. Uh, it's we're in getting started and then it, it's clicking on test configuration. So as fast as like that, you can just start immediately uh, creating tests, very easy to install, very easy to set up. We're gonna do additional videos aside from that on more like creating some tests with Playwright. But here is the second test kicking off. So after the first one is complete, uh, again, we're in this window. Uh, so what did it do? The test went to the page playwright.dev. So then it went to uh, link get started. It clicked on the get started link. And then it verified that in the heading, uh, there's name installation. Okay, let's uh, terminate this last job. So now we're gonna uh, remove those. So we go into tests, example spec. We're gonna remove those pauses. Remove, remove so it doesn't stop. Uh, again, save with Control S or file save. And then execute one more time. NPX playwright test headed. All right, here it is. One, two. So it's even, it's open in another window, but you can see it's pretty fast. The test runs pretty fast because it's a short test. Okay. So this is it. We just installed Playwright and did some execution of our uh, beginning tests. And next video, we're going to get a little bit more into automation with Playwright. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Leave a like and subscribe if you did. And check out more on my videos on QA. Thank you. Bye-bye.